Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When you've got a file or a folder that you want to share with uh, someone who happens to be on your same network, you don't need to install any extra software. And this was a scenario as read to us by a, a user who swung by the chat room the other day at live.perlo.com. At home, he says he and his wife are on the same wireless router, the same network, and they're trying to share files back and forth, but they're tired of using email and instant messaging applications to share those files. Well, if you're using Windows, it is relatively simple to share a file or a folder. The feature is baked right into the operating system, and the same holds true for OS X and, and Linux, too, for that matter. Uh, inside of Windows, you want to open up either the Network and Sharing Center in Windows Vista, or in some cases, uh, you could right-click a folder, choose the Share option, uh, that will take you directly to the sharing tab and then from there you can set up permissions for a user saying that yes you could view this folder you can change the files and you can set you know various levels of permission uh, the key for that level of simplicity is making sure you're on the exact same network at home um, because if you're not then you're talking about having to install another piece of software that would act as a sort of server for files and at this point, that's I don't know if I'd recommend for the average user. Opening up a simple file and folder sharing is easy enough. Now that's as far as Windows is concerned. What about networking between networking files and folders between OS X uh, or and Windows? It can be done. In fact, I, I had to find a different way of doing it between Windows Vista and OS X. It was a little different than it used to be uh, within XP and OS X. Um, I've blogged about that before, and since the details are. Eh, there's a few steps involved, and I'll definitely link off to that particular small tutorial in the, in the I guess, the show notes, as it were. It's already helped a few people who were trying to figure out the same thing of sharing files between OS X and Vista. Oh, they did, for some reason, the networking, uh, the, it just changed. The, the process through which you could share files between operating systems changed. But again, the bottom line was, I didn't need to install any extra software to share files that were on the same network here at home between one computer and another. Now, as far as the exact details, it's going to depend on your version of Windows, uh, which files you want to share, which folders you want to share. I generally share uh, my desktop, not like the Windows on my desktop, but the files on my desktop, since the desktop itself happens to be a folder. And the reason why I share that I, I, on every computer on my home network is because that's kind of a staging grounds uh, for, you know, copying files, moving files, you know, information back and forth. Apple Talk. There you go. Um, so that's, there's an old protocol for you. The uh, the idea then uh, is is that if I wanted to easily get to, to files on someone else's desktop, I could because it's already shared here on my home network. Now there are, uh, I guess, packages available, packages, software available that you could either buy or it's free that will allow you to do a few more things with file sharing, specifically across the internet. So if you weren't connected to the same network at home, you could share the files uh, with relative ease using, again, uh, another piece of software. But if you don't really want to buy any software and you're happy just sharing files in your home network, there's nothing to install. And if you need more help, all you got to do is press the F1 key, at least in Windows. It'll bring up help and it'll tell you all, everything you wanted to know about, well, okay, so not everything. It is Windows help after all. But the internet is a beautiful resource for help. I tell you, and if you're looking to share information with us, you know, leave a comment or you know, swing by. Let us know what you're using to share files. Uh, we're always there at live.perillo.com.